Hello, my name is Gary and I'm the subject leader at Barton Peveril for music and music technology. I've recorded this video to give you a little more insight into the A-level music technology course at Barton. Our entrance requirements for this course are designed to be quite flexible. If you've taken GCSE music, then you will need to have achieved at least a grade four. Alternatively, if you haven't, but you've passed grade five practical on your instrument or grade five theory, then this is also fine. We do also completely understand that not all music technology students will have gone down the conventional route of learning to play a musical instrument first. So we do also offer you the opportunity to submit a portfolio of your own technology based composition work as an alternative entrance pathway. The course itself combines two exams worth 60% and two pieces of coursework worth 40%. Much of the learning, however, takes place through practical experience. And a significant part of one of the exams is actually practical and is done using Logic Pro software, which we use during the lessons. The first of the two coursework pieces is multi-track recording. This takes place in one of our three studios. The first year is spent learning how the equipment works and practicing working with typical recording setups whilst the coursework itself is done early in the second year. The second of the two coursework pieces is composing. Throughout the first year, you'll be guided through the range of creative tools which Logic Pro offers for composers and directed towards a wide range of exciting techniques for inclusion in your own work. The first of the two exams essentially explores the history of sound recording from roughly 1945 to the present. So here we look at the ways in which artists made use of the technology they had at their disposal at the time. From the early mono blues recordings of the late 1940s, right up to the infinitely more sophisticated technology of the present. Between this exam and the two pieces of coursework, we look at a very wide range of musical styles and periods in our exploration of music technology. So we would hope that as musicians, more than anything else, you'd be inquisitive, and keen to find out more about music that maybe up till now has been unfamiliar to you. The second exam combines your understanding of the ways in which the technology you use works with your ability to use this technology in an exam environment. So you may be, may be asked in the exam to correct errors in an audio track or to generate a particular type of synthesized sound, for example, You'll also be required to create a mix of a pre-recorded song, which will usually consist of five or six separate audio stem tracks. A lot of people ask if it's necessary to have your own Mac with Logic installed. The answer is definitely no, but of course, if you don't, then you do need to be prepared to put in the necessary time outside lessons in college to get your practical work done. I'm sure those of you who've already visited us at Barton Peveril will have seen for yourselves that we're very lucky to have such excellent resources. This, combined with the excellent level of support you'll be given while studying music technology at Barton Peveril, puts you in a great position to reach your potential in this subject. I do hope that gives you a clear picture. If there's anything else you want to know, don't hesitate to get in touch. My email is gdw at barton.ac.uk. So I look forward to seeing you in September and thanks for listening.